Hi, this is Digital Lady Sid. This week we're going to do just a very short, quick tutorial on how to create a glitter texture. These are just very popular now all over the internet and they are so easy to make. Um, I thought I would share it and that way you can make glitter textures in any colors that you want. So let's uh, get started. Here is the one that I created already just to show you what we're going to be making. and. These are all created using filter, uh, filters that are in Photoshop, so you don't have to have any additional plugins or anything. Um, the steps that I'm going to be using I have written out in my blog, so you don't need to take notes. You can just go back to the blog and write down the filters to create your own. So, all right, let's begin with uh, a new document, file, new, and I'll show you. Um, I don't know why this is coming up. <laughs> Uh, we're going to use a 10 inch by 8 inch document at 300 resolution. And that is the size that you want to make for um, all of your um, uh, textures and everything. Uh, no matter what kind you're making, that's usually a good size and that's usually what most people are selling them at. Although I've noticed there are some that are at larger sizes than that now. But this is what I'm going to use for this. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to add a color. So um, we're going to um, use this bright blue color that I liked before. And the way to get to that is let's click right here. And it's probably set up. Yeah, it's R20, G30, and B55 to make that really nice deep blue color, which I really like. So we're going to start with that. And we're going to fill the background layer with this blue. So we're going to go Alt Backspace and there she is. It's uh, dark blue in there. Now we're going to create a new layer and we're going to set the color swatches to the black and white. So let's press D and that gives you the black as the foreground, white as the black, uh, background, which is what we want. Um, okay, now the next thing that we're going to do is go to the filters and the very first filter that we're going to apply is Render Fibers. So let's go to Render Fibers. And you want to set them at a maximum 64. And leave your strength at 4 and say OK. On the going to change this to a Color Dodge Blend Mode. And now you can kind of see the sparkles coming through. You want to go to Filter. And you want to go to Other. And we're going to go to Minimum and we're going to use the two pixels and say OK. And then we're going to go to Filter and we're going to go to um, Other again. And we're going to go to Maximum and we're going to leave it at two or you know, right there. And now you have a pretty nice glitter effect right there. You don't really have to do a whole lot, but I like to have mine with a little bit of ver more variety in it. So the next step would be to add another new layer. And this time you want to go to Filter, Render, Clouds. And you know, you can always re-render that. If you don't like it, you can always do this and you get a little bit different. Each time you do it, you get a little bit different uh, pattern in there. Okay, in this case, we'll just stick with this one, and we're going to change it to Overlay. There we go. And now we're going to go to Filter Distort, and we're going to choose a Spherize. And this filter, we want to knock it all the way back the other direction, so it's really pinched in. And that's at minus 100, and say OK. Now this looks really over the top, not something maybe you you would want it to look like, but you can always reduce that opacity down. And, and definitely, I keep mine under 50% usually for that, but you could keep it at a nice variation there, and it's really easy to do. The next thing you can do is you can add um, to change the color. So if you just really don't want a blue, you want to use it over and over again. There's a couple ways to do it, and I usually use the Hue Saturation Adjustment Layer. Hit Color, and you can, you can just change that color any way you want. And you can do that whether you've already converted it to a JPEG or you're still using the PSD file like this is. Okay, but you can see you get just all kinds of really pretty colors. Uh, 
and you can increase that saturation give yourself a nice holiday color there maybe you know you could do all kinds of things you can still go back and adjust this if you're in the PSD file you can adjust your your um, intensity very easily you can do whatever you want you could turn that off if you want it just a real kind of mono, you know mono kind of look okay now I'm going to show you what else you can do with this I have a little picture here that I did with some flowers that I threw in and in this case I'm going to show you I used the solid color fill adjustment layer and that way you can also change your colors to anything that you want and you could see it live on the fly see how pretty that looks you can do all kinds of things with that and as you can see I have this little sparkly looking snow on it I have actually selected this with color range and and selected just the dots and then I adjusted them or I added them into the image I have some notes on that in my blog if you want to complete that and do that I love to keep little um, these are what I call just nice to have pings to have on hand to give a little variation to anything creative that you're working on and in this case I again used a hue saturation adjustment layer to change the color of those sparkles if you look in there you can see that they're dark blue obviously from the blue background I had but now you know if you put that on I've changed it to orange um, I've added a hue or I mean a levels adjustment layer to to um, maybe clip a little bit of that color in there I've added some lines in there and basically that's that's how you do this so it's very very easy to create these and um, I think there's could probably be very creative with it and do a lot more things with it so if uh, you want to know more about me you can find me at fun photoshop blog uh, at sidspixwordpress.com which is where this uh, blog is or you can go to my tidbits blog where I just do really fun things so um, check me out I've got a couple other examples on the blog this week of how to use this glitter uh, texture and uh, we'll see you next week bye